Samsung just updated the SmartThings app, and now you are able to use it with Android Auto to quickly control your smart home devices. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how it works. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So last week, Samsung announced at the Unpacked event that SmartThings will then be updated to work within Android Auto. That update is now live, so let's show you what it can do. Now, first you need to make sure that you have the latest version of the Samsung SmartThings app, as well as you have some smart devices in SmartThings. And then you do need to have an Android Auto head unit. So here in the new Honda Odyssey, I have Android Auto available. Now, the first thing we need to do is head into the SmartThings app where we can choose what devices are going to be able to display over here that we can quickly interact with them. So once we head into the app, we're just going to select the menu right here. And then we are going to go into the settings and scrolling down here we have Android Auto. Control smart things from your car. So we're gonna tap on that and here it is showing my home and it is showing six different devices that I can quickly control from the interface. Now, if you want to adjust the order these are in, you can tap and hold and then move them to any part of the screen. Um, but I want to change what devices are showing here. So I'm gonna select choose items and then here at the top, you can see I have the option to turn on or off my security system. Here I can choose different scenes. Um, let's say that we don't want those scenes and we want, let's see, I wanna close the shades and sure, we'll do the arrive home scene. And then going through here, I can check and uncheck items that I want. So I don't want any of these. Um, one of the items that I usually want to control is my front porch light. Sometimes they're on or off at the wrong time, so I wanna quickly control those. So here you can see it's showing every device that I have here in my uh, smart things. So I'm gonna choose the Wemo porch light, and then next I'm going to choose my entryway light. Up here at the top it's showing that we have five of six selected. So I do have a few more that I can control. Now right now, my garage is smart, but it can't be controlled within smart things. That would be something that would be really nice to have to open and close the garage, but I don't have that here. And for the last one, let's go ahead and choose basement entryway. And down here, it does give you a notice. IR devices and devices that connect directly to your phone can't be controlled in your car. Okay, so we're gonna select done. And now you can see I have my different items right here. And if I want to move the Wemo porch light to the front here, I'm able to do that. And then I have my other lights right there, scenes at the top and so on. And then down at the bottom, you have an option for scene notification. And so here it's giving us the option to choose different scenes when we arrive home or when we leave from home. So maybe when you leave, you want all the lights off or you want the home to be set to away status. It would remind you on a notification and you can tap run that scene without having to pull out your phone. Uh, the next one is arriving home. So when you come home, maybe you want the house to be lit up so that you can find your way with the groceries to the kitchen without tripping on anything. So you have that option. So for arriving home, let's go ahead and choose the arriving home scene. And then for leaving, I just turn this on and now I could choose the good night scene. Or you can go and create a scene for pretty much anything you want to have done when you leave. So let's go ahead and choose the good night scene for fun. And so now those notifications have been set. So that's pretty much all the options you have on here. Let's go ahead and plug this in and show you how to use this on the car. And once we're done, we can exit the app and plug it into our car. Now we just need to head into Android Auto. And here we're gonna go to the home screen. And now you can see that SmartThings is here. Now if you wanna organize these, just hold down and then you'll go to your phone to organize where they show up, but I like smart things as kind of the close option right here. So we're gonna head into smart things. So here you can see the six different devices that we have added for the security system. If we want to arm, we can tap arm away, or we can tap arm stay, or we can disarm it just like that. So it's nice that that's right there. Here we have the scenes, so we can run those quickly. Here we have the Wemo porch light where we can quickly turn that on. And here you can see it's showing that it's on and we can quickly turn that off. Same thing with the other lights. And then there it is showing the status. So you have off, on, off, and so on. So there are the quick access to your six different SmartThings devices. Next, let's head into the settings. 
And here you have the option to get general notifications in the car, get security notifications in the car, and then tapping here will open the smart thing settings for Android Auto. So let's go ahead and take this for a spin and test out the notifications for the arriving and leaving scenes. And here you can see when I get far away, it is saying, do you want to run good night? So we just need to tap and there it runs the good night scene. So if the notification pops up, but you don't tap on it, down here under notifications, you do have the option to run that scene as well. So here I can then select OK run or close and don't run the scene. And now you can use this from anywhere. So you don't have to be near your home or connected to your home to be able to do this. This is connected through your phone's internet and you can come in here and change these specific settings at any time. Now you do also have the option to use Google Assistant to control your smart things at any time. Turn off Wemo porch light. And here on the drive home, I received the arriving home notification about 820 feet or 250 meters away from my house. Now let's look at how responsive this is. So here we have our porch lights. They are on. There you can see they are on tap and there they turn off tap again and there they turn on just like that now one of the options i have here is to close shades or shades close so over here i have some zebra blinds smart shades let's tap on the option there and now you can see all of my shades are instantly closing. So this would be nice if I'm leaving home, I see the shades are on and we want them to be closed. I can then simply close them with a tap of a button. I could set the other scenes here where they automatically open or whatever. So you can really do a lot with the Samsung SmartThings integration in Android Auto. And that is Samsung SmartThings on Android Auto. What do you think? Does this have everything that you need for SmartThings in the car? For me, I'm very impressed with what it can do. I like that you do have the simplified options here for different devices or scenes, and it's nice to quickly access them. And then I really like the arriving and leaving notification to run those certain scenes. It seems to work very, very well. Every once in a while, it does just take a few extra seconds to load. Hopefully that can be improved over time. So if you have any further questions about this integration, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.